say the state of the female MC it, it's very shaky. It's it's been shaky for years, um, and that's just because females don't get as much exposure and as much perks as the guys, and that's just a fact. It's really hard to pinpoint what the one reason was that women have just gone away and the representation of female MCs have just gone away. I really can't explain why there's such a lack of females in the business. I wish I knew. I don't understand why. I don't get it. Whether it was the 80s, the 90s, now, then, or even tomorrow, it's just not easy. You know, it takes a very special woman to be a female rapper. Hey VC, Miss It Soul here. Welcome to a new video. Um, this one will be dedicated to hip hop, to rap music. So if you're not a fan of this uh, musical genre, well, maybe this one is not for you. But then again, stick around and who knows? Maybe you'll enjoy it and you'll learn something new. So yeah, like I said, this one this is dedicated to hip hop, to rap music, especially uh, my 10 favorite female rappers. So, um, I've been exposed to hip hop, to rap music since I'm a kid, since I'm about four, five, six years old, um, mainly with my two older brothers who are big, big fans of, uh, of this musical genre. Uh, they used to listen to the classics. I mean, the great artists like, um, Big Daddy Kane, Public Enemy, Eric B and Rakim, Run DMC, all the great male rappers. But one day, one day, my brother came up. He came home with this album, which is Salt and Pepper, Odd, Cool and Vicious. And this album blew me away, guys. It blew me away mainly because I had no idea that girls could rap as well. So I was like five or six years old and I thought it was so cool to see these three ladies rap. It was amazing for me. Amazing. Great, great stuff. So yeah, it was spinning this album and I was listening to uh, the track Push It, um, Tramp, I'll Take Your Man. And I find it so, so cool. Even though I didn't really um, talk, speak English or understand English, for me just to see just to hear and see three women rapping was such a big thing for me. And um, it kind of, my interest to rap and hip hop music just grew since then. Really, what is really, really, really cool for me. So yeah, so Salt and Pepper, the first female uh, rappers that I ever listened to. I have first female rappers that I've seen on TV. Yeah, great, great stuff. All right, so just before um, showing you uh, my 10 favorite rappers, I have an honorable mention. Uh, she's uh, an artist that uh, really helped um, the hip hop culture to go mainstream, kinda, yeah. Because uh, in the early 80s when the um, DJs and artists wanted wanted to bring the hip hop culture from the Bronx to downtown to Manhattan. Um, the the new wave and the punk movement were basically the first one to open the doors to to these uh, to these DJs. Um, and this artist was part of the new wave and punk culture, and that is Debbie Iris, Miss Blondie here. So yeah, this is uh, the single of her track, Rapture. It was released, I believe, in 1980, let me see, like 1981. Great, great, great track here that she did in honor of the DJ Grandmaster Flash um, that she met in one of the clubs where he was uh, DJing in Manhattan. So uh, yeah, she made this, um, she did this track in honor of uh, Grandmaster Flash. And I believe it was one of the first, um, the first rap song to ever, um, to feature in, uh, on MTV, which is kind of a, a kind of a big thing. So, um, I really wanted to mention, uh, Debbie Harris and Blondie for, uh, a contribution, or um, uh, a big help in the, in the hip hop movement, um, yeah, she in a way she helped the hip hop movement becoming uh, more becoming mainstream. So yeah, so that was for Debbie Harris. So, 
So, all right, let me start with um, the legends, the great, great female rappers. And one of them is the great Roxanne Chante. This is one of her uh, greatest hits albums. Really, really nice one here. So, yeah, Roxanne Chante, uh, she is a female rapper from Queens, New York. She started her career in 1984. She was one of the first female rap rappers to become very, very popular. Um, she is very, very talented, a kind of a battle MC who really liked to uh, challenge other rappers. Uh, she was raw. Um, yeah, very, very authentic. Great, 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 really, like, great rapper. And uh, yeah, she's a... Uh, very uh, known for a track uh, titled Roxanne, Roxanne's Revenge, which is a response that she did to a, a track um, by uh, the band UTFO titled Roxanne, Roxanne. And she did a rap uh, response to this track, which is, which is a classic. So if you don't know about uh, Roxanne Chante, just go and listen to the track Roxanne, Roxanne, and you'll... Uh, yeah, you'll definitely know more about her. Uh, she She's a, one of the great MCs, female MCs here. Roxanne Chante. She released two studio albums, which were, yeah, kind of popular, but um, she's uh, she's one of the first, one of the first great guys. So, uh, and, and she started her career when she was really, really, really young, at uh, 14 years old, I believe, when she... Uh, uh, recorded um, the track uh, Roxanne's Revenge. So that is for Roxanne Chante. All right, MC Light, the great MC Light, a uh, female rapper from uh, Brooklyn, New Brooklyn, New York. Great run, witty, smart, um, hardcore MC. Uh, really like her voice. She has a kind of a deep voice. Um, great, great, great female rapper here. Um, one of the first female rapper to uh, record a full studio album, which is this one, Light as a Rock, which was released in 1988. Classic album here. Great album. I love, love, love this one. Uh, you have classic tracks. Um, let me see. Uh, Light as a Rock, the title track is very good. Um, 10% This, uh, Paper Thin, uh, I Cram to Understand You. Very, very great MC, smart MC, smart lyricist, great flow. She's a legend, MC Light. Then... Then I have the great Miss Queen Natifa, a female rapper from New Jersey. Uh, she was first part of the collective uh, Native Tongue with uh, other artists uh, such as um, the band A Tribe Called Quest, uh, De La Soul, The Jungle Brothers. Great, great, great artist. Very um, artists that were focusing on, on uh, Afro, Afro, Afrocentrism that were um, very inclusive as well. And uh, yeah, just before ending in 1988, she started a solo career with this uh, great album, which is All Hail to the Queen. Great one here. This is the Vinyl Me Please exclusive pressing on beautiful colored vinyl. Great, great, great one here. I mean, if you don't know Queen Atifa, I mean, you must, not be a fan of hip hop music. She's one of the great, great female rappers. Um, super talented. Uh, really kind of reflect uh, the the image of a powerful woman, and that really shows in her, in her lyrics. Um, she was uh, yeah a proud, proud, proud MC. Uh, she really wanted to um, to. Um, yeah, to 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 um to showcase the pride of a a, um, a powerful black woman, and this is a great 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 album here. Uh, you have very very good tracks. Uh, Dance for me. Uh, Come to my house. 
uh, and the great, great track she did with uh, the other rapper, Moni Love, which is Ladies First, a classic. So all hail to the queen and Queen Latifah. So these female wipers were wipers uh, from the 80s, basically, where um, they were more focusing on the lyrics, on the message. Um, they didn't really care about their uh, physical appearance. Um, it was mainly about uh, rapping, about the lyrics. But in, in the 90s, it kind of changed uh, because, well, rap was becoming more mainstream and... Uh, the female rappers, um, they kind of, um, they were more focused on, on the, um, you know, the sex appeal, the, 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 the physical appearance, uh, 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 appear, appearance. And, uh, one of the artists that was from this kind of movement was, uh, oh, well, there were, there, there were two, Two female rappers that were that was very popular in the nineties. The first one was Lil Kim. I mean, Lil Kim. She was the the rappers that was focusing on the on the you know the sexual content, the sexual message. I'm sexy. I mean, uh, more than the, the 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 lyrics or the 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 yeah the lyrics. It was mainly on the the image the sex image but um yeah you had little kim but an artist that i really really like a female rapper that was that i was a bit more connected to was foxy brown i really liked foxy brown even though i'm the kind of um i'm more fan of a uh, conscious rap or rappers that you know that has uh, uh, a message <laughs> but I really really liked um, I really like Foxy Brown I liked her style I liked her flow uh, she was um, she's a very very talented MC um, nice flow um, witty uh, yeah so this is one of um, her albums from 1998 I, oh no from 2001 sorry this one's from 2001 and it's a late one of the, one of her latest album titled Broken Silence. Very, very nice album here. Uh, an album where you can uh, you can see some um, some uh, Caribbean West Indies influences uh, with some you no know, um, reggae dub influences. Very, very, very nice stuff. Uh, great tracks. Great, great tracks like um, uh, Oh Yeah was that was a single BK Anthem uh Hood Scriptures great 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 album here Foxy Brown talented MC uh yeah as you can see on the cover she was sexy she was a beautiful great 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 MC Foxy Brown all right all right another rapper Great female rapper, very, very underrated. She's from Philadelphia. Uh, she released only two or three studio albums, but her debut was fantastic. One of, in my opinion, one of the best uh, hip hop albums of the 90s. And that is the rapper, the female rapper, Baham Bahamadia. Bahamadia, and this is her album Collage from 1996. Great, great, great album. I love Bahamadia. She's so talented, great lyricist, an amazing flow, kind of laid back style, but so, so, so talented. Great MC. Unfortunately, she didn't, she did not get the recognition that she deserved because she's very, very talented. But uh, yeah, she never, um, she, like I said, she was very, very, very underrated. But this album is amazing. Great, great, great album. Nice lyrics, nice flow, like I said. I really, really liked um, the tracks. Um, um, Spontaneity, uh, I Confess, uh, I, know how, I Know How We Do. Great, great stuff. 
very, very talented MCs. MC. I have uh, her other, um, her other, um, her other album, which is an EP. Uh, it's it's still good, but not as not as good as this one because I believe she released it as an as an indie, and the production is not the same. But uh, yeah, the album collage is is beautiful, amazing, amazing stuff. Great, great, great MC Bahamadia. Then I have the great, the one lonely, Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill and her fantastic album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill, I mean, she is, she is in her own category when it comes to female rapping. She has her own spot. I mean, her, her talent is amazing. I mean, we, 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 we witnessed her talent uh, with, um, when she was part of the band The Fugees. But uh, when she went solo and released this album, it was just great. Smart MC, um, great lyricist, amazing vocals. Uh, she can do it all. She could sing, she could rap. Uh, yeah, she could sing, rap, she could do everything. And this, this, is, a, this is a gem. This is a beautiful, beautiful album. Um, the kind of artist who wanted to, you know, um, wanted to go her own way do her own thing and uh, when she felt that she couldn't do it she just left the game and said no child peace uh i can't do it anymore i mean i just i released this gem and that's it she released after that her uh, unplugged live album yes it wasn't the same we, we were not expecting this kind of album we we're kind of expecting a Miseducation number two. We didn't have that. We did not have that, unfortunately. But we still have this amazing album from a super, super talented artist, uh, Lauryn Hill. I still enjoy um, spinning this one. Uh, it's just great. The lyrics are beautiful. The production is beautiful. Oh uh, yeah, Lauryn Hill. Great, great, great artist. Then I have uh, an artist from New York. Uh, I believe she's from Brooklyn. Um, she is very, very popular um, in the underground uh, hip hop movement. Very, very talented as well. Her name is Jean Grey. This is, uh, I believe this is a debut album, The Week, the, the Week. Great, great one here. Another super talented MC. Great lyricist, great storyteller very 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 talented um yeah she like i said she is very very popular in the uh, underground uh, hip-hop movement uh, she released several albums uh but this is one of my favorites um the week great great one um yeah i love jing gray really really like jing gray um this one is great um you have the tracks um Style Wars, uh, whatever, uh, Super Love, that is very, very good, great one. So we're not fam uh, if you're not familiar with Jean Grey, check out this, um, this, this album. And you can also check out uh, one of, uh, a track that she did, uh, that, that she um, released a couple of years ago, titled A Love Song, which is beautiful as well. Great, great, great storyteller, an amazing lyricist. So check her out, Jean Grey. Yeah, this is the single I was talking about, guys. Love song. Another very, very good one. So if you're not familiar with the work, check out um, this track, Love Song. Great one here. So that's for Jean Grey. All right. Rapper, female rapper, great female rapper from North Carolina. Um, kind of mainstream, very popular, very super talented. That is Rhapsody. I've mentioned her many times on my channel. Uh, I just love her. She's great. She's super talented. Um, the kind of uh, conscious rapper who really focuses on uh, her lyrics. Um, 
Yeah. She's a, a rapper who is, uh, who, um, who really likes the hip hop culture. You no, know, she, she, she's, she's always, um, she's always uh, mentioning the hip hop culture for, for it's very, very important, important. So her work is, uh, mainly for the hip hop culture. Um, one of my favorite, maybe my favorite album by uh, Rhapsody is her second album, which is Layla's Wisdom. This one was released in, oh my God, I'm not sure when it was released. Uh, 2017. Was released in 2017. Great, great, great album here. Great production. It was produced by Ninth Wonder with a great great production great hip-hop producer one of the greatest so yeah um super super nice album Layla's wisdom it feature it features um uh nice artists like kendrick lamar buster rhymes uh cool cool tracks um you have the track power which is very good the, t the title track Layla's wisdom um uh, black and ugly super super nice album great hip-hop album here one of the best hip-hop album of the two uh, of the last uh, of the f last two three four years great one Layla's wisdom And last but not least, um, young young female rapper from the UK, very talented as well, and that is Little Sims. This is her latest album, Great Great Aria, another very talented MC, great lyricist, um, very 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 talented. Like I said, really like this album here. I like her flow. She has a very nice flow. Um, she's a great storyteller as well. So I really enjoyed um, listening to this album. Um, the first track, Offense, is a great one. Selfish, featuring Cleo Soul, one of um, one of the great R&B singers. Love Cleo Soul, indie indie R&B singer from the UK. Um, Venom is very good as well. A great album, great hip hop album. Uh, if you're not familiar with the uh, Little Sims, check her out. Uh, another talented MC. So that's about it, guys. That was my list of my ten favorite uh, female rappers. I really hope you liked it. Um, please uh, don't uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about my um, my um, list about this video uh, if you're new to my channel don't you know don't be shy subscribe and uh yeah that's it like and comment and i guess i'll see you next time guys peace